It's beautiful evening to annoy my cat. Hey, is it? Hey, Stumpy. Is it a good evening to annoy you? Didn't think so. What's going on, people of the internet? Holy crap, it's been fun. What's been fun? I don't know. Today has been annoying. Can't go fishing tonight. Some of you might be happy about it. Some of you might be sad about it. Some people are enjoying the fishing videos. And a lot of people, well, don't seem to be. But that's okay. I, I don't know what he's doing. You want to come back inside? No? I'm just going to go outside and dog? Okay. Yeah, they're calling for rain all throughout the night. So I figure safety third will just not go fishing. Because I don't feel like getting soaked unless... I know it's not going to last long like I did on Saturday and Friday and that's about it. Looks like we're going to have to uh, take Bender out of retirement though, eh? Going to have to come over here and do some more freaking damage. Cabbage is trying to make a comeback. Going to have to teach it that that's not permitted in this country. No comebacks permitted, boys. Hammer down. Burn this all to the ground. Frigate. This stuff over here is not really trying that hard, and that's the way it, it should be. And while this stuff over here, I'm expecting, uh, I'm expecting to see these, uh... Holy crap, what the hell's going on here? Look at these friggin' holes in the ground. Jesus, Murphy, what's making those? Moles? But over here, I'm expecting to, uh, see a lot of these guys popping up with all these seeds in the ground. That's for sure. That's fine. They can make a comeback. I'll just keep killing them. So yeah, there won't be any fishing tonight, but I got somebody who wants to come over and take a look at something that I got for sale on the old friggin' online listings there. And I got uh, a couple other people want to take a look at other things, so hopefully we can get some crap sold and more room in the garage. Like, we got a lot of room out there right now, but it's always nice to have more, you know? It's always nice to have space. Things that I want to do. One of the problems that we're having, and this was talked about on a previous video. One of the items I was having a problem with was this Mastercraft freaking drill press. And somebody said, hey Adam, why do I have ear protection? No, they didn't say, hey Adam, why do I have ear protection? They wanted to know if this thing would run with no belt on. No. I just don't want to spin. Now, a lot of you said it's this back here, this freaking capacitor. All right, we got it turned. Looks like it's a Phillips head screwdriver holding the capacitor cover on. It's on there for a reason, guys. It's, an, it's a high intense capacitor. I'm gonna take it off and just take a look. I'm not gonna go dicking around in there until I can properly discharge the damn thing. But we got this unplugged. Let's go ahead and take a look in the, inside of here. So there are the specs on what I need. 20 microfarad, plus 5%. 250 volt AC, 257021. A CBB60, I don't know. I'm going to have to look all these part numbers up online and see what the heck I'm, I, I need. Doesn't look too hard to replace. The connections in there look good. If it is the starting capacitor that's causing problems, then shit. That sucks. I don't even think I have a multimeter that works right now that I could use to test the capacitor. At least one out here anyway. Yeah, I can't find my multimeter and that's a problem because I had three of them. I know I brought one to my friend's house that one time and I used it to diagnose her stove, which is funny because I diagnosed the stove and her boyfriend was like, Adam's wrong, he doesn't know anything. Bring it to this guy, he's a certified freaking electronics person. He'll look into it, he'll tell you exactly what it is. So after I told her it was the element, she brings it in, pays buddy boatloads of money, Buddy comes back and says, your element's fried. That'll be $79, please. That wasn't even for the element. That was just for wasting his time to look into the, uh, the situation. I really wish I knew. I thought I had one in here. Well, I do, but I'm pretty sure the battery on this thing's fried. I think it uses weird batteries. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I can't even go into this cupboard right now without getting the dog all riled up because he knows his leash is in there. And he wants to go for a walk. 
See, I can say the word walk around him and it doesn't do shit because I've never associated that word with us going out. Maybe I still have the other one in the truck. Maybe I never took it out. There is a possibility of this. So let's go check the truck real quick and see if it's in there. One thing I am going to do is grab one of these contractor bags. I'll go ahead and clean out the back seat of my truck. By the back seat, I just mean the back area. There's a lot of garbage back here. It's pretty gross. All right, well, I cleaned out the back of the truck. All the garbage is like, so I got the crap in here I got to get rid of. All my mint tins. Freaking love these mints. Probably bought enough to freaking cover a payment on the truck. All right, I'll get rid of all these tins. Oh, here's another one. Yeah, it's empty. But I did manage to find an HDMI cable, chisel set, and punches tripod mount for slapping it on the window and a hundred foot VGA cable okay that's nothing what I'm looking for mind you the hundred feet of VGA cable that could be useful I do have a projector that uses VGA and I could uh, set up the projector at one location and my computer at another and as long as it's within a hundred feet Good to go, right? Good to go. So I really have no idea where the hell my multimeter is, but let's just say the capacitor is FUBAR. How much would one of these dirty bitches set me back? That's the big question. Is it gonna be spendy, or am I gonna go to Canadian Tire, buy another drill press, put the broken drill press in the new box, and then return it and say it's broken? How many of you guys have done that scam before? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get shit did because let me tell you, man, it's hard out there for a pimp when you're trying to get the money for the rent. The Cadillacs and gas money spent be a whole lot of bitches a jumping a ship. Still can't believe I can't find it. I thought for sure it was in the truck because I remember I worked on her friggin' thing, her, her stove last year. But I think I might have used a little one. And that's all crap for the... That's my extension cord drawer. That's just miscellaneous junk. Well, son of a sea biscuit. Problem is, I'll end up ordering one, and then it'll work. And then next year, when I'm looking for the orange stuff to wash my hands, which that go missing again? No, it's still back there. Okay, I'll be looking for that, and I'll find my friggin' uh, my multimeter. That's the way it works. I always find it when I don't want it, and then when I do want it, it's the ultimate game of hide and seek. So I'm looking up uh, the CBB60 and I found a bunch of them on Amazon. It seems to be the style, but like this is 20 microfarads, which this is rated 20 microfarads, but 450, 250 volt. Oh, I see. 450, 250 if it's 50, it's 450 if it's 60, it's 250. Well, this one here for 17.99 with doer manure. That's not too bad. 17 bucks and I can get this pile of piss back up and running. What I don't understand is these numbers down here. Like, it's been such a long time since I've done anything electronics, guys. It's been, like, since high school. And that is a long-ass freaking time ago. In a town called Kickapoo, they lived a humble family, religious through and through. But yeah, there was a black sheep, and he knew just what to do. But here's the kicker. I'm looking at these two wires, and unless it's just the picture, I don't know. But this also has the 257021, which is right there. Cool. EN6252. This says EN6252. It's pretty much this is what I need. This job here. Do you actually... What? Arrives November 9th and December 1st. Jesus Murphy, where is this coming from? China. Yeah, you're going to last long. Like, what happened to Made in America? See, I was looking at this one here, but she's 60 farads. She's a little bit too donkulous for me. Like, is there a drop down where you can say no, like... I want something a little not as crazy. This one here is uh, 20 microfarads, 450. Has all the 2585, not 70. I can't remember if it's the farads you need to have bang on or the voltage. I think it's the voltage. Hmm. I got to do some freaking research. It's a new day. And I've been looking on the hunt. Looking on the hunt? Yeah, that's sure. That we're going to go with that logic. I've been on the hunt for a capacitor for that drill press for the past little bit. Still trying to find something that'll work and 
So far, I'm lucking out to only using the china piece. Now, I did make headway on a company here in town that actually carries... Well, they're the uh, in-town repair guy for Mastercraft and uh, Makita and a lot of the other uh, power tool companies. Like the on-site warranty guy where you can bring it to him and you can fix it. So, I don't know if they sell parts... But I think I, I just made myself a quick little bite to eat here, a quick little steak. I'm going to drive it in my face. Then we're going to take a rip over to Buddy's shop. I tried calling. He wasn't answering. Chances are it's a one, one individual operation. And Buddy's probably just way too busy to take a pause for the cause and answer the phone. So I figure what we can do is we'll have ourselves a little steak here. Take a rip over there and see if we can acquire... At CBB60, and hopefully we can. I'm telling you guys, this uh, friggin' pandemic is making it hard to get things. You know, like that's what Buddy was saying. Uh, with uh, I called the, one of the well, I called both of the electronic shops in town, and they could get it. But the problem is, is they didn't have it in stock, and in order to get it in stock, they got to order a minimum amount. The minimum amount they got to order is 25. Now the thing is, is a lot of people will not DIY their own, their own repairs, you know. A lot of people won't bother taking the time out of their day to diagnose a problem with their drill press. They'll either A, contact Mastercraft and try and roll the warranty game, which that warranty on that one there is over because I got that three years ago and I believe it only had a one year limited warranty. Now I know, guys, Mastercraft is in fact known for their good warranties. I know this. I know this all too well. However, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm grabbing a picture of this stupid capacitor. So I have all the part numbers and everything. The problem is, is they have they carry a lifetime warranty on tools, not power tools. Like wrenches and hammers and... You know, shit like that. As far as power tools go, the warranty is listed in the manual. And it's a one year uh, repair or replace warranty. So, kind of sucks, but anyway, let's head down to that shop. See if we can get a part to replace what we need. If not... Amazon.ca, we're sending our money to China. Talk about a wild goose chase. I come all the way here just to find out. They're not in business anymore, I guess. That place is empty and the doors are locked. No. Looks like China's getting my money. That drill press ain't getting fixed anytime soon, that's for sure. That drill press ain't getting fixed anytime soon, that's for sure. Yeah, it would have been nice if they, uh, the, the guy at Mesco would have told me had the business closed down, so that must have happened this year, because uh, looking in the building, it looked like it wasn't cleaned out that long ago. Like there was, the windows are fairly clean. If it would have been like a couple of years ago when it shut down, the windows would have been pretty, pretty gross and such. But everything looked fine. So the chances are, once again. This damn pandemic killed another small business trying to make a living. I'm deeming them unessential. However, the landlord's charging them rent still. You wouldn't believe, well, <clears throat> you could believe it. Because it's probably happened in your hometown too where a lot of small business mom and pop operations got shut down because they're deemed unessential. And the landlords are still charging them money for the, uh, the building. But they had no way to make money. So... Once the coffers ran out, there was no money left in the bank. Couldn't afford to run the operation. Had to either sell it or shut it down. There's a lot of businesses in town that shut down. So guys, I don't know what to do at this point. I'm at a standstill. I'm going to have to order off of Amazon. And you saw those shipping times. It's going to be like mid-November by the time the damn thing shows up here. So, I guess that's what I'm going to have to do. But I'm going to end this video here. And see if you guys have any ideas, any other, maybe you've done this and you have something else that you can recommend where I can get the capacitor cheaper 
or not even cheaper, sooner. Uh, I'm going to leave it to you guys. Otherwise, Amazon.ca it is. And we'll get ourselves a capacitor. Um, apparently, the voltage, from what I gather, the voltage is the maximum amount of voltage you can throw at that capacitor before she'll explode. And the farad, that's the capacity. How much energy it can, like, like voltage is like your pressure. Like, if we wanted to pretend this here is a capacitor, right? So the 20 gallons, that there is the microfarad. Or the farads. That's how much storage it has. 20 farads of air, okay? And then your voltage is... Let's say this tank can only handle 150 pounds before she'll crack and split and we'll have an air grenade on our hands. 150 volts of air pressure, per se. That's how I figured it out. I went and looked it up online. It's been such a long time. And there was a problem I was having. I was like, well, which one of these leads is the cathode and anode? And I completely forgot. It's alternating current. Who the frig cares? It doesn't matter which one's the positive and negative, because there is no positive and negative in friggin' alternate current. There is none, so it doesn't matter. I was like, man, none of these capacitors. I looked at online, so I need a 250 volt AC, 50, 60 hertz, 25, 70, 21, EN, 62, 52, bunch of other numbers, and if that there is the the birth date, this thing was born like almost 10 years ago. So I'm going to have to leave it at that for now. There's not much really I can do to uh, replace it. COVID's kind of cock blocking me on every side. Even with fishing stuff, guys. Like I wanted to buy a new fishing line for my rod. And nobody has anything in stock. Canadian Tire's completely sold out of everything. Freaking the, the fishing place where we go get tackle. They're pretty bad. Buddy down the street here, Trapper Joe's. He's gotten to the point where he pours his own jigs now because he can't find them to buy them uh, wholesale anymore. It seems like Amazon's the only place you can find anything, so it really makes me wonder what kind of a crooked operation those guys are running to get stuff before anybody else. But it is what it is. That's why I don't really want to give Amazon my business, but if I have to to get this stupid drill press going, then I have to because I kind of sort of need the drill press going to do the project I want to do with the Delta. And I have a feeling I'm not going to have that done before the winter when the Trans Am's in here. And when the Trans Am's in here, basically all production shuts down. No more garage. No more nothing. So, yeah. Kind of got to see what the heck um, we can find in the world of stuff and junk. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this up to you and see if you guys have any ideas. If you do... Let me know in the comments below if you have any, any, any ideas. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, people, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It took me a while to make it because I had to source parts. and It's not easy while you're working a full-time job and everybody closes when you get off work. And you can't call out because you're always busy on the phone helping people fix their computer shit. It drives me nuts. Thanks for watching. Like, favorite, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, guys, live to win, never give in. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.